Hello everyone, welcome back to Analog, a hate story. You might be wondering what the heck I'm doing in this game since I already finished it and more recently finished its sequel, Hate Plus. Well, at the end of Hate Plus... Well, let me step back, when I first played through Analog, a hate story, I just played through it once. And I just got one ending and that was it. But when I finished Hate Plus, for some reason I got in a sort of completionist sort of state of mind and did every single ending that I could find. And then, at the end of my last episode of Hate Plus, I said that I would come back to Analog Hate Story, this game, and see what I had missed. So that's what I'm doing, although I will say, my drive to be a completionist has kind of waned since the end of Hate Plus. I think I kind of burned myself out on doing so much in Hate Plus. So I'm probably not going to look at every single ending, and I'm not going to go through the entire game, but I am curious how some of the other endings play out. And I also said I would do this video, so that's another reason why I'm actually going to do it. I'm not going to break my word. I said I would do this video, and I'm going to. I'm not going to be a complete completionist, but I'm going to look at at least a bit of additional things you can do. Alright, so here's one of the additional endings. There are five endings to this game. Um, I got the ending where Hyunae comes with me. And here's another ending. This ending is extremely easy to get, because you can do it at, well, practically any point in the game. This is the basically forever alone ending, where you are a total dick and you don't take any of the AIs with you. Warning, starting active systems download will permanently terminate session. Are you sure you want to continue? No AI personality will be downloaded. Yes. And done. That's it. The end of the game. <laughs> Who would actually do that for anything other than just to see if it could happen? And that's it. Now you have a, an empty console. Good work on recovering the Magungwa's files. I just spoke to the sponsor's representative on audio. He sounded really pleased with what you delivered. I've credited your account with the standard payment. Listen, I've got another job lined up for you. It's on Earth. But it sounds to me like after that la... Okay, it disappeared before I could finish reading it. Wait a minute, can I go back? Yes, I can. You could use a change of pace. There's a man whose wife has... Okay. So on to my next mission. That's such a depressing ending, not to take any of the AIs with you. Why would you want to do that? She's been unlocked forever alone. <laughs> okay, so now I've seen two out of the five endings. Let me attempt to find another one, but I'm going to have to navigate through a bunch of save files, and I have no idea where these actually are at in the game exactly, and where I need to be to get the ending. So I'm going to cut here, and when I come back, I will show you another ending. All right, so here is something leading up to another ending. Um, this is one where you actually take Mute with you. This is around the time that Mute gives you all the questions to take to Hyunae and ask her. However, you can get a different ending if you, instead of taking the questions to Hyunae, you actually bring them back to Mute. However, as you can see and probably hear from the messed up music on all the static, um, this is right before the reactor meltdown, so I'm going to have to do that. But for now, let's just go ahead. I think this is how this is going to work. But I've just noticed we've got a very serious problem here. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have to do the meltdown thing, right? Okay, so I'm going to deal with the reactor meltdown and bring the questions back to her. And that should lead to the other ending. Or another ending, anyway. So I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. I just stopped the uh, reactor meltdown and saved her life. Okay, let's ask the questions. I actually forgot how this interface works. It's been so long. And so long for me being, what, a couple months? But that's, <laughs> that's enough time for me to forget everything. I know I can just click this, but how do I look at all of them? Oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, let's ask Mute these questions. Look, the questions are for her. They're pretty straightforward. I don't think any need explanation. Take them to her yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. It's probably best if you hear it straight from the crazy bitch's mouth herself. 
Oh, mute. You're so pleasant. Well, let me ask it again. Okay, so I can't help but notice that you had plenty of time, but never did go back to Hyunae to get the whole story about the murders. Why is that? Is it because you don't believe me even enough to ask her? No, that's not it. Actually, I should probably save just in case I mess this up. Do I have any empty slave save slots? I don't. Hmm. I don't want to overwrite something I might need. Uh, okay, I'll overwrite the earliest because those are probably the least I'm going to need. Yeah. Okay. No, no, oh god, I almost pressed load. No, no. Don't load. <laughs> that would have been horrible. Oh my god. Okay. Nope. Oh, well, that's good. Do you think it's just not important enough to ask about then? No. Oh, okay. I was hoping you'd say that, honestly. All I can think then is that you'd rather just hear it from me. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. I just figured it's an awfully bold thing to claim about someone you've already met, so it's better to hear it from her directly, but if you do trust me, then sure. Well, I guess there's not really much chance for asking her yourself now. I guess it'll have to be from me. So, I'll leave it up to you. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I'm sure. Okay then, I think you've made the right choice, but, well, no turning back now. And by the way, it's worth mentioning that because of what I did, uh, because we're running on low power now because of the reactor meltdown, there's no, there's no headroom to switch out the AIs now. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm basically stuck with mute. Um, I might be able to disable her, but I don't think I could enable Hyane. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I think that's why Mute said uh, there's nothing really you can do about it now because I don't think I can even ask Hyane even if I wanted to. You don't want to read all her diaries. It's just really grating whining. Even I couldn't bring myself to read much of it. But here, there's one in particular I think you should see, and I swear, this is her own words. Take a look at that one and come back to me when you're done. Hmm, that's probably something I haven't read before. Now I just need to find it. Alright, it's gotta be this. Yeah, the interface in Hate Plus is definitely a big upgrade over this. Oh yeah, I've already read this. I'll kill them all. Yep. Well, okay then. So you've seen it all for yourself. In her own words, no less. That bitch is just... insane. Completely insane. So you see, that's why I hate her. She killed everyone. She killed my master, her husband, the emperor himself. She killed her own father, and she killed thousands of perfect strangers. She might seem pretty, but listen, she's crazy, and she's a monster. The last person to love her suffoc suffocated to death because of her. Well, you know what? That's psychopathic. That's appalling. It's damned unforgivable. I really hope you don't feel any pity for her after all that. Well, since I'm going with mute, I'm going to say I don't, even though that's not the truth. I sure hope not. Well, I guess you've almost got the whole story then. There's just one more thing that I think you should look at. Then that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and add some of my last logs. They're kind of dry, but I think you should read them. Trust me here. So come talk to me when you're done with those. After that, well, we've got some things to discuss. No hurry or anything, just let me know. Okay, these actually might be logs I haven't read. And when I finished the game the first time, it said 85% complete on the log completion, so there, there are actually a significant amount of logs I have not read. Oh, wait, wait, what? I didn't... I just clicked on the flashing icon, and I think she thinks I read them, even though I didn't? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that's... Hmm, that might be a bug. I'm restarting this dialogue. Okay. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's because I, I clicked this. Show message from her. But for some reason, to activate the same bit of dialogue from her was also the flashing button. 
And even though I did that one, it didn't disable the flashing button. So, a little bit weird. Minor issue, not a big deal. Maintenance logs, camera footage, no. No, I haven't read this. Okay, all right. Last midday report. Midday report for 3 slash 4 of the 322nd year. Reactor status, nominal, 97% efficiency. Wait, does, does that say 97% percent efficiency? Don't worry about the fluctuation, it's fine. Why are there two percentage symbols? Hmm. Temperature, approximately 23 point... Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, running very good. One birth recorded. Okay. Oh, oh, this is this is it. I was looking for where to switch the page, but you can't. The market opened today at 9, with no complications this time. Foot traffic on the plaza at noon was 296 persons. Slightly below expectations. Nothing else to report. Look like Looks like it's going to be a dull day. She wasn't kidding about this being kind of dry. Come talk to me when you've read the others. Maintenance logs. This is the day after the previous one. Mute maintenance mode enabled, now performing emergency log recordings. Alright, this is on the same day, a little bit later. Live support manually deactivated by admin. Warning, 30 minutes of oxygen remain. Warning, 25 minutes of oxygen remain. Okay, so... <laughs> so, Hyane enabled... I'm assuming Hyane either put mute into maintenance mode. Or may... Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Never mind about that thought. But yeah, this is obviously mute when she, um, well, did her thing. Yeah. And that's the whole story. She killed everyone, made a copy of my code, shoved her own memories into it, then tried to leave me disabled forever. If you hadn't come along, well, I might as well have died with them. So no, the thing you talk to? She's not a human. The real Hyane. The Pale Bride was suffocated to death at the same time that all her victims did. The one you know is just a horrible perversion of me with all her memories. Does that change how you feel about her? Well... Kind of. I mean, the most interesting option here is definitely yes, why do you hate her then? So I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, why... Why do you hate her? Let me put it to you this way. Does she still defend the real Pale Bride's actions? Hmm. Since I didn't present the questions to her, I guess... At this point in the story, I can't possibly know. I can't remember. I don't know. Oh, come on. She didn't tell you right away, did she? No. I'm sure that's because she felt personally responsible and knew you'd be appalled. As far as I'm concerned, they might not really be the same person, but she's still just as bad. I hate that awful bitch exactly as much as I hate the real thing, I assure you. It just makes me feel so violated. Fuck her. Camera footage. No date. It's weird. Transcribed from the security camera logs of the Kim family storage house. I activated the security camera on the orders of Kim chung Su, who has been locked out of his own storage shed by his daughter. All I can do is monitor it. I can't actually open the door. The Pale Bride is sitting in front of the computer screen, near a large egg-shaped object. She wears an ugly hand bok. Her braids have fallen out, and otherwise looks as miserable as ever. I personally only get a brief glimpse of her, then I get turned off. The security camera still runs, though. A loud knocking sound can be heard from the door. Kim is shouting for her to unlock the door. He says he'll forgive her for stealing the key if she opens up right now. She doesn't say anything. The banging continues. She keeps typing code on the screen. After a while, the banging starts to slow down, and Kim's shouts are too quiet to be made out. She, sta she staggers towards the egg and lies down inside of it, on a pile of broken glass. On a pile of... she's laying down on a pile of broken glass? Holy shit, that sounds really, really disturbing. After a few after a few minutes, a crazy bitch gasps for breath, then stops half a minute later, dead. 
The same thing must be happen happening everywhere on the ship. Thousands of people suffocating to death. Her terminal continues to beep, the progress bar flashing, even after her death. God, that's so disturbing. Alright, so? Is that it, then? If there's something else you'd like to show me, now's your chance. Otherwise... Um... I could try to ask her the rest of the questions. Let's do that. There's something else. Uh, let me save it. Okay, then, sure. No rush. Just go ahead and show me, and you can let me know when you're all done. All right, let's see if I can ask these questions to her. Although I think because of what you just showed me, they're probably irrelevant. But we'll see. Oh, how about this? How do you feel about me? Hmm, this thing's gray, so I'm guessing she's probably not going to answer. There really isn't any point in showing me that now. Okay, I didn't think so. In that case, we're done. Let's go. Alright, so? Is that it then? Yep, that's everything. Yeah, okay. I kind of figured as much. So here we are, I guess. You've got everything you've wanted. So, what now? You're just about ready to go, I expect. Okay, let me ask you something. Would you even consider the possibility of taking me with you? Maybe? Well, that is nice. But see, here's the thing. I'm bound to the ship. I can't exactly just leave. My programming doesn't say it is your most important duty to ensure the security of the Magungwa unless everyone's dead, in which case do whatever. No, it's just, well, I can't. So like, the rational part of me knows that it's going to be terrible and lonely once you go. All alone in space. Forever. It's just, you know. Whenever I think about it, I'm just overwhelmed by my feelings of duty, of how it's so important to stay around for the ship. Sure, I know rationally that it's stupid, but that doesn't matter. You want to know why, despite not being human, I'm identified as a woman? Because I'm fundamentally irrational like one. Call it emotional, call it hard-coded directives. The difference doesn't really matter, does it? When it really matters, I just can't push aside my feelings and do the rational thing. Oh god, mute. Well, say, when you said that you'd be willing to take me with you, did you mean that? Would you really do that? Yes, I would. Well, you know, if it was possible, I think I might be pretty okay with that. You seem like a good man. You're even, you're even headed. Mostly pretty sensible, and you don't put up with bullshit, at least. What I'm saying is, I can't willingly go with you. I can't ask you to take me. Every time I try, I just get overwhelmed by the feeling that I need to stay. But, well, I think I should probably decompile myself and run a full diagnostic. Wouldn't you say that sounds like, sounds like a good idea, after all these years? Yes, it does, Mute. And if, you know, if someone happens to download you against your will, well, stuff happens. That'd leave me completely vulnerable, of course. If, say, you were to kidnap me while I was offline, I couldn't do anything to stop you. I'd have no choice but to just accept you as my new master. Uh, don't call me your master. That's creepy, but okay. Look. I'm not saying I want to be yours or anything, I, I don't. My duty is ensuring the ship's safety. But if you were to kidnap me, force me to travel all across space in your little ship, with you to keep me company, I think I could probably learn to be okay with that. Okay, so she wants to be kidnapped, got it. <laughs> but don't do that. Definitely don't do that. Sure. I'm going to shut myself off now, run the diagnostic, and I'm going to trust you to not kidnap me, okay? I totally promise I maybe won't kidnap you. Take all the records you want by typing download at the console, but I definitely wouldn't want you to take me too. Okay, I, I definitely maybe won't. Well, I'll talk to you when the diagnostic diagnostic's done then. I'm gonna take her. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I do this? Is it in download? <laughs> Down. 
Download mute in addition to logs. Yes. And done. Oops, I'm sorry, Mute. I kidnapped you. Aw, oh, darn it. You told me not to kidnap you, but I got mixed up and I, I accidentally kidnapped you. I'm so sorry, Mute. And there we go. What is she wearing? There's something really different from whatever she had on before. It's all... I don't know, very white. Let's see, is this text going to be any different? I've credited your account. Mm, nope, that's the same. Alright, total completion rate 89%. So I'm up from 85 to 89. Ending 4. Oh wow, two. Oh god, what the hell? Deep Space Detectives and, and another Deep Space Detective? Oh, that's achievement progress, not total, not an actual achievement. Okay. Okay, so now I've experienced three of the five endings. The one where Hyune comes with me, the one where Mute comes with me, and the one where no one comes with me. So there are two others. Let me see if I can even get to them in a reasonable amount of time, because I think one of them requires me to replay the entire game, basically, which I'm not going to do. I, I don't feel up to that. Um, so I'm going to cut here, and I will be right back. Alright, so this should lead to ending number four. The one that's apparently called Two Girls, One Core. <laughs> that's a lovely name. This is the non-canon ending because it requires you to have knowledge of something that you can't possibly actually have knowledge of in-universe. Because it requires you to know the ID of a document from the Hyone route. Which you can't possibly know unless you've already finished it, which doesn't make any sense within, you know, the universe of the game. And that's what leads to the the um, harem route in Hate Plus. So let's do that. All right. So how you activate it is you get to this point again. Um, is this is after I've asked her uh, mute the questions and the reactor meltdown and all of that, and she says if there's something else you'd like to show me, now's your chance. So you say yes. There's something else I do want to show you. And you go to the search thing. Uh, home. I don't think I've actually ever really used this. Yeah, type the document ID. I'm pretty sure I never used the document ID, from what I can remember, in my playthrough. So here's what you do. You type in the ID for the document, called Forever Silenced. Which is something that you don't get to see unless you're in the Hyunae route. And you show it to mute. So let's do that. Where is it? Um, 7 dash EUX 25. There we go. This is something you can't possibly know unless you played the other playthrough or, you know, looked at a walkthrough or whatever. And let's see what she says. Present it to her. What? <laughs> I... What the fuck did I just read? No way, I don't... Is this for real? This is really something that actually happened to her? Yes, yes it is, Mute. Does that change your opinion? How do you feel about her now, Mute? Let me make sure I actually say yes to this. I'm looking at the walkthrough right now. Um, say... No, no, that's not the one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Wow. So, she wasn't quiet because she was just being a good woman. Then, I guess she wouldn't be able to ask anyone for help. I thought... Well, that still doesn't justify mass murder. But still, wow. That is all kinds of messed up. That's just horrible. I take it back, then. I take it all back. She might be a murderess, but... Okay. You've convinced me to feel pity for her, at least. Okay, then. Well, I guess I should probably talk to her now. Maybe I misjudged her. I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, well, I'll be back in a short bit, then. So, okay, we've talked. For the first time. I can't just forgive her, but yeah, I do pity her. I'll give her a second chance. I mean, I figure I'm here to protect the well-being of the people on the ship. Even if she's the reason why, well, you know. 
she is still the only one left. I'm going to go get her, okay? Yay! Um, hello there. Mute told me you were the one who convinced her to just listen to me. Granted, I don't understand how what you did to show her that was possible. Did you cheat the system somehow? <laughs> Shh, don't say anything. Well, no matter how, thank you. Right, okay, so... Go ahead and ask him, Yane. Ah, uh, what? No, you should say it. It's embarrassing. <clears throat> what did we talk about with arguing? Sorry, sorry. Very well. Um, it's... This is hard to say. Well, it's... We'd really like... It'd be for the best if... Please, let us be your wives. What? That was not what we agreed on asking. But you said it'd be improper if I wasn't... <sighs> wow. Yeah, but you don't have to say it like that. That's just going to scare him off. Ah, jeez, sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound like... Okay, look. Here's the thing. It's not ideal for Hyane to stay on the ship forever. I don't want to be your wife, okay? Man, Hyane, you're making me sound ridiculous here. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Fine, whatever. Okay, right. What I was saying before. It'd be really good if you took her with you and, well, I could come along to make sure she's safe. Don't take any of it the wrong way. It's just out of a sense of duty and absolutely nothing more. Look, just ignore what she said. I don't want to be part of some harem, okay? I just think it's the best way to fulfill my duties here. Salvage the situation. Really? I, uh, don't really see why, well... You know, it wouldn't be so bad to share if it was someone like that person. Ah, shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't let her scare you off, just because she's in love, okay? It'd be just a strictly charitable arrangement. Don't make it romantic, Yane. Jeez, I'm not in love. It's just, I really... Shut up! And knock off the whole... I don't know how to pronounce that act, okay? You're not fooling anyone. Okay, look. You can drop to the console to take the ship's records with download, but please take us with you when you do, okay? It doesn't have to be a permanent arrangement. Just transport to civilization would be fine. Ah, but if you want it to be permanent... Silence is a virtue, Hyane. Stop it. Okay, well, that's all. I'm going to deactivate us both now. See you soon. <laughs> okay. Download. Yes, take them with us. Or us. Who, who's us? Take them with me. And this will be the fourth ending. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. That is very different music, too. <laughs> is, she, is she wearing cat ears? I think she is. Incoming message. Oh, is there anything different here? Credit your account. Another job. Yep. Ending 5. Total completion rate, 89%. Okay. That is now four of the five endings, and the fifth one I don't really want to do. Um, and here's why. Two reasons. Um, the fifth ending is... What's it called? Let's see. Friend... Yeah, it's called Friend Zone. That's where you... That's where you take Hyane with you, but you don't treat her very well, so that you end up as friends instead of... You know, girlfriend and boyfriend, or if whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, together. I don't know, I don't remember what she is. Is she your wife? Girlfriend? Boy, I don't, I don't know. But whatever. She doesn't like you. So you're just friends, or maybe even enemies. <laughs> I don't know. So that's the other ending that I've not done. But to get that, you just need to basically treat her like shit from time to time. Which I don't want to do, because it would require probably replaying the entire game, or part of it. Or a large part of it? I'm not really sure. Uh, so it'd probably take a while, and... I think I... I just don't really feel like treating her like shit. Because I did that 
to attempt to get different endings in Hate Plus, and it was really disturbing. There's nothing fun about treating her like shit. It, it was just disturbing. So I don't really want to do that again. So, no. That's four of the five endings. I feel pretty satisfied with that. I think I'm going to leave it there. So, I'm, I'm not being a complete completionist with this game. As you can see, I'm only 89% done. There's still achievements to get. There's still one more ending, and etc, etc. But I'm pretty happy with this. That's four out of the five endings. Okay. So, um, if anyone is a little bit crazy like me and enjoys going back to games and being a bit of a completionist about them and discovering some of the other possible endings and pathways, if anyone else out there is like me and actually enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. And if not, I completely understand. Although I guess if not, you're probably not watching, so this message is pointless. Yeah. Anyway... I hope everyone enjoyed. Goodbye.